So in the very beginning of Elden Ring, for our very first fight, we go up against a boss that we're technically supposed to lose to. However, the developers made something special to happen if we do manage to defeat this boss. After all, it is our very first fight that we're going up against in Elden Ring, and it is a boss. So, you know, we don't really have the greatest gear and whatnot to take on this encounter. As you can see, here's what happens if we do lose to it. The game's story will continue on like it's supposed to. But check this out. Here's what happens if we do manage to beat the boss.
So, as you can see, if you do manage to defeat this thing, you will get the Ornamental Straight Sword, which was one of the swords that that thing was using, and you'll get a Golden Beast Crest Shield, which was the shield that that thing was using, and we'll get 3,200 ruins. And yes, guys, these will carry over even after this part. We'll keep all of this for the beginning of our adventure in Elden Ring. So it is extremely beneficial to take this thing on. Also, in the very beginning here, after we do defeat this boss that we're supposed to technically die to, this next area will unlock where we can progress through. And here's what happens when we go down this path. So, yeah, we still end up dying at this part one way or another. Even if you defeat the boss and get past them, you'll end up still dying from falling to progress to the next part of the game's story. And keep in mind, this is the same cutscene that we would get if we lost to it. Nothing different happens within the cutscene. Also, if you do manage to defeat the boss, don't forget to pick up this nascent butterfly too, right before the bridge. Apparently this is a rare ingredient. I'm not exactly sure what this is used for yet, but it states that it is an exceedingly rare ingredient. Not just a rare ingredient, but an exceedingly one after taking them on. So it's something you don't want to miss after taking the boss on. It is pretty easy to pass up if you just go across the bridge instead. But yeah, hopefully this helps out. The best advice that I can give you going up against this guy is to try to keep your distance, at least that's what really helped me. So having a class that starts out with, with distant attacks will be beneficial against this boss, it seems. That's why I did at least. I used the samurai class because the class comes with plenty of arrows to use with the bow in the beginning, which was extremely beneficial for this fight. It allowed me to keep my distance from the boss. Actually, the only time I used close quarters during this fight was in the very beginning when it first landed. I was able to land a few clean swipes with my sword in the beginning to save a few arrows. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this Elden Ring video. Hope you all found this enjoyable and it was able to help you out in some kind of way. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.